since I do a lot of other things, I like I like collecting Indian artifacts and and me and my girlfriend buy and sell antiques, so we do antique shows. We do a lot of auctions and things like that. Um, so at this point, I can't say I'm a full-time musician, but as far as a passion, I'd say the, the passion of the music is still a full-time passion, like it's always the same been. It same as it was in 1963. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> every once in a while I get to play a gig with Sue Grande. <laughs> And every once in a while, I get to play with the real macaws. And um, you know, last month, I did a gig with J.D. Blackfoot. Uh, he's like 73, and it was his final performance. And that was at the Two Hills Performing Arts Center. And uh, it's funny. It's funny, like uh, I'm 67, and just in the last five years, like I the writing thing has become like the big thing with me. I've been writing and writing and I have a, a new show that I want to bring out real soon and I'd actually like Soup to be part of it that's pretty much a St. Louis, New Orleans Mardi Gras show. I call it a party gras. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, I, and so, you know, I, I play odd jobs with I gotta say that I like playing group with groups where when you play it's an event and it's not like you're in a bar six days a week trying to make a living. It's a lot more satisfying for me to do events like that. Right now I have probably the best band in the world. I have David Toretta playing bass who uh, produced Chuck Berry's new record and played bass for Chuck. Then I got Keith Robinson playing drums. And, he played with Chuck. Uh, and he played with Chuck for the last 20 years. So I got Chuck Berry's band basically oh, oh, as, my, as a backup group. So I really shouldn't be complaining about <laughs> stuff too much. <laughs>